Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my October favorites. <sighs> Y'all, it's November. I'm gonna have to go to the grocery store and go grocery shopping for Thanksgiving. Like, what am I cooking? What's on the menu? It is November, y'all. The holidays is upon us. <laughs> but it's all good because it's my favorite time of the year, so whatever. Now, I didn't have a favorites video in September only because, guys, like, my favorites videos are for real, okay? Like, these are actual items that I've been loving for the month and using constantly the entire month. Now, I might have been using the same products from August into September, or I just didn't use anything video worthy or enough products to make a whole video. So I'm not gonna have a video every month for favorites. I'll have it as often as I can, but it's not gonna be every month. But this month right here, huh, the favorites were favoriting, okay? So if you wanna know some of my favorite fragrances and body care and actually, it's a lot of fragrances and body care this month, actually. <laughs> Just continue to watch. Before we get started with the video, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure that red button turns gray. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. All right, y'all, so in true me form, we definitely have a couple of random favorites this month. The first being my nails. Now, before you say, girl, please, you've been wearing these blue nails forever. <laughs> it is true, I've been wearing these blue nails forever, but the difference with these nails is they don't have not one chip, not a one. Every single nail is perfect, and this is my first week, an entire week of me having this nail solution on my nails and we're going to talk about it now when you watch my videos i always have on some variation of a royal blue color because it's my favorite color and it just works on my skin i just love it so what you guys don't see are the chips there's always a little chip on my nails somewhere and i get gel i don't do my nails myself i just don't have the patience for it y'all i just can't like i, mm, I just cannot so I go to the nail salon and I was getting gel nails, like an OPI gel or a shellac gel. Um, they were always good brand polishes and my nail tech always did a great job. But for some reason, my nails would always chip. One, I'm always in the shower. I take two to three showers a day, so my nails are always getting wet. I'm constantly cooking and cleaning. Like honestly, like this, I do not live the soft life, okay? My life is very hard. Like I stay in the kitchen. So I'm always getting a chip on my nails and it is what it is until I decided to get a powder. So this is the powder, the dip powder. I've only gotten powder one time prior to this once in my whole entire life. And that was right before the pandemic. And honestly, y'all, my throat was hurting me. I had a headache. I could have sworn I had the vid and I could have sworn I got it from the nail salon because dipping my finger in that powder. So after that, I was like, you know what? I'm never getting this powder again. It was stressing me out. I'm a germaphobe. So dipping my finger in a powder that other women dip their finger in was just not sitting right with me. But y'all, I had to just get over it pray to God that I don't get any like diseases or germs or whatever from that. And I had to go back to the powder because I do not chip. This is going on a whole entire week and I have no chip. It's so strong. Like honestly, y'all, like this isn't going anywhere. Once my nails grow up, you know, grow out or whatever, I'm going to have to get them done again, obviously, because, you know, I, I don't like to see the new growth, like that space right there. But other than that, the powder is everything because I'm not chipping. I can take 10 showers a day. I can wash dishes and cook and clean and do everything that I need to do and not have to worry about my nails chipping. So my first favorite is the dip powder gel nails. Love it. All right, so my second favorite, let me get it, hold on. All right, so my second favorite are these dirty AF Uggs. <laughs> look at these, I don't want them by my face, but look at this. These Uggs, they look ratchet as all heck. Hot mess. But when I tell you, they are the most comfortable thing. So this is my transitional Ugg. 
<laughs> because starting like November or not even like once it starts to get really, really cold, because it's cold a few days, but not cold enough. Actually, no, I'm lying. There was a few days that I had to put on a full Ugg or a full shoe, whatever. But for the majority of the time, this is what I've been wearing because like I said, it's my transitional coming out of summer, wearing flip flops and open toes and open back and not having my foot confined in a shoe. This is perfect for me because my heel is out, like the back of my foot is out, but I'm nice and toasty, like all up and through here. These are everything when I tell y'all they are worth the price. And they're probably like $120 or $150. I'll leave them linked because you can get them anywhere, girl, like Nordstrom, Macy's, but I'm going to link them down below. But y'all, these Uggs right here are freaking everything i drive in them i walk not walking them but i definitely drive in them i'm doing my day-to-day -day errands like going to the mall <laughs> like i go everywhere in these busted ratted tatted uggs i just love them all right so let me show you some lip products that i've been loving this month and one of the colors is this that i'm wearing right now it's a sephora brand and you guys know i love the sephora brand um liquid lipsticks they're so beautiful they have so many colors they last all day they don't crack after about 10 to 12 hours they do feel a little bit uncomfortable because it's like not going anywhere on your lips but they have so many colors and this color being my favorite right now this is the color 100 super deep super vampy like i just absolutely love this color it's giving me all the fall vibes bay doesn't really like it <laughs> he's like he's basic when it comes to lipstick it's like either red or like a nude color that he'll like but anything too off the wall he's like mm, not feeling it because he always got something to say always got something to say like ain't nobody ask you bruh <laughs> but anyway y'all this is a great color i absolutely love it it's like a deep very vampy like um eggplant undertone color it's everything and the next color you guys see me in this color probably for the past three or four videos actually maybe end of august not end of august but definitely all of september all of october you are seeing me with this lipstick right here and it's by urban decay it's one of their new liquid lippies and this brown y'all i mean it's the perfect brown for me it's not too chocolatey but it's not too ashy gray it's just perfect y'all i never want to be out of this color and the formulation is amazing it's matte but it doesn't feel drying on your lips it is awesome the only thing i don't like about it is that you have to shake it up and sometimes i forget but i mean the formulation doesn't change like it's still really nice on my lips but they suggest that you shake it up bath and body works okay we're gonna take our talents over to bath and body works now bath and body works this entire season has been a favorite of mine i've been living in bath and body works way too much but one of my favorites this season by bath and body works is midnight amber glow so this is the fragrance mist the body cream and the moisturizing body wash i told you guys before like two years ago maybe the only body washes that i use from bath and body works are these okay i don't care what they smell like if i really love the smell i'm lying because i do have a couple and when i say a couple like literally just two of the other ones that come in the other packaging the ones that aren't moisturizing but this right here the ones that come in these tubes are amazing very moisturizing the scent is still super potent and this scent right here midnight amber glow y'all it's had me in a chokehold it goes with so many of my fragrances it's giving fall vibes look at this we're matching <laughs> let me say the notes smooth amber caramel latte and vanilla bourbon i have a layering video coming up so i'm not gonna say too much i'm not gonna say too much okay but just know you need this okay it'll go with so many of your fragrances if your collection is similar to mine not in size but if you get a lot of recommendations from me this will pair with a lot of the fragrances that you have in your collection trust me okay amazing love this so much oh my goodness i love it let me get a little whiff mm, love it so the next one that i've been loving for the month of october and summer september child is pumpkin pecan waffles y'all like i said i got a layering video coming up so i don't want to say too much but just know 
you need this if you can get it because this sold out really quickly this is what the bottle looks like y'all let me tell you the notes in this one so this one opens up opens up child <laughs> this one has maple syrup golden waffles pumpkin spice and brown sugar i want some of y'all brown sugar mm, y'all this whoo, the layering combos with this i don't want to say too much let me put this down just know you need it if you can get it and i think you'll be able to get it on sale because these are now half off because they're moving into christmas but y'all that's everything all right so next up by joe malone we have a hand cream and y'all i think i told you about this before y'all need this this is joe malone's vitamin e hand treatment no gimmicks no joke no foo foo la la this is super moisturizing and super hydrating for your skin. This is vitamin E. Y'all, this is amazing, okay? If you suffer with dry hands because you're constantly washing your hands because you're a germaphobe, you're constantly sanitizing your hands, you need this. Like, guys, this is amazing. It is kind of pricey. I think it retails for like 60 something or $70 or something like that. The Sephora sale is going on right now. If they have it at Sephora, I'll definitely link it because they don't have all the Jo Malone products. So I'm not sure. I think this may be exclusive to Joe Malone. I'm not sure, but wherever it is, I'm gonna link it for y'all, okay? Definitely you need this. Hands, like ashy hands, just look wrinkled and they age you before your time. You know what I mean? You want nice, soft, silky, smooth hands. And this definitely does a trick. I have a lot of Fru La La hand creams and it's just for scent or just to look fancy in my purse. Like my Chanel egg, that just looks fancy in my purse. I mean, it's not drying. <laughs> But it's not moisturizing. It's not touching this. Like, this is for real, like, the real deal. Holy feel, okay? <laughs> now, another Jo Malone favorite this month is my Mer and Tonka Body Cream. Listen, I don't want to say too much. Just know, if you trust my layering combinations, go on and get this. Because I have a layering video coming up for y'all. Featuring this so many times with so many fragrances. And another thing, this body cream is so super fragrant. It's so potent. It's so intense. It layers beautifully. It melts nice into the skin. This body cream is top tier, okay? Like, do not get it twisted. Look at the consistency. Oh, you can't even see it. But the consistency is really, it's not super thick like the other Jo Malone creams. It's more emollient. And y'all, it's actually more expensive than the other creams. But to be honest with you, like I can see why it's more expensive. It's worth it. Like guys, trust me when I tell you this cream is going to be featured in that video. And if y'all don't get it, you want me mad, okay? And I'm going to link it to Sephora because they're having their sale right now. So you can save either 20, 15, or 10% off this lotion. Well, body cream, you need it. Now let's get into one more one more um, body care product before the fragrances. So this is the Osea Undoria, Undaria, <laughs> Undaria Algae Body Oil. Y'all, y'all already know. Look at this dip in my oil. First of all, this oil is so super thick, so super rich, so super creamy. Yes, the oil is creamy. It's not like a really light, thin, runny oil like baby oil or anything like that. This is nice and thick. It has a nice spa-like scent to it. Y'all, it's everything. The benefits of this oil is very good. Like, I don't really talk about it in the video. Just know you need it, okay? Like, it's too much information. My videos are too long already, y'all. All right, so now let's get into some fragrances. But before I share with you the fragrances that I've been wearing since like September and October, I need to share with you a favorite house right now. I recently got these mid-October. Let me pull up the notes because I know somebody gonna wanna know the notes. So let me get these notes for y'all. But this whole house has been on my radar now. Like the hind ears are up. All right. So the house that's been my favorite for the month of October is none other than Liquids Imagineers. I was saying Liquidies, <laughs> but it's Liquids, right? That's what that's what somebody said, y'all. I don't know, but these this brand right here, y'all. Let me just say this to you real quick because this ain't a review or anything like that. But 
I have a discount code for these fragrances on soavantgarde.com. Y'all, if you can get these, get them. They're safe blind buys. They are beautiful. When I tell, listen, they're so exotic to me, so unique. They smell so good. Let me tell y'all. So let's start with Dom Rosa. Dom Rosa is one of my favorite rose fragrances right now. Like, honestly, this, y'all, y'all, this smells so freaking good. It's a spicy, fruity, boozy rose fragrance. Y'all, this is making me do a rose video. I have to do a rose video for you guys and share with you some of my favorite rose fragrances right now because this is at the top of the list. This is on another level. Oh my goodness, this is so freaking gorgeous. Like I said, spicy, fruity, there's pear in here. I believe there's cinnamon in here, there's champagne. And you smell the champagne from the opening until the dry down. It's rose and you smell the rose, but it's a more sweet, fruity rose. Y'all, this rose right here, Dom, Dom Rosa. Dom Rosa did the damn thing. Okay, they did the damn thing with Dom Rosa. This is everything. You can save 20% on soavantgarde.com using my discount code, the great 20 Y'all, this is everything. I hope it's in stock. I hope it's in stock because I spoke about it a few weeks ago and then I had my sale and so many of you guys were like, I couldn't get it or, you know, whatever. So hopefully it's back in stock. Now, another one from the House of Liquids Imaginaires is Bloody Wood. Now, I'm not going front. The name was getting me. Like, I'm very funny in particular when it comes to fragrance names because the name can turn me off from a fragrance. Killian has a fragrance, um, Playing With The Devil. Y'all, that fragrance smells so good. <laughs> it smells so good. But I would never buy it. I would never wear it. I would never accept it. I don't want that on my skin, okay? Playing with the devil? No. We serve the Lord around these parts, okay? Like, I don't want no parts of playing with the devil. Although the fragrance is good, but I can't, y'all. So it was the same thing. It was like bloody wood. Like, really bloody wood? Like, why? Like, why? <laughs> but it's not as bad as playing with the devil or anything like that. But the scent is amazing. Wait, hold up. Like, damn. Oh, y'all, this is so good. So this opens up with red wine. There's rose, violet, red wine again, child. Cherry, fruity notes, raspberry, woody notes, oak, and sandalwood. Liquids is one of my favorite houses right now, period. Period, point blank, oh my goodness. Y'all, I've never smelled anything like these fragrances ever, like not even remotely close to. This is so good. This is so good, so juicy and effervescent and bright, but still very exotic, very different. I can't even describe to you what this smells like. The cherry in here, it's not a lost cherry. It's not, um, um, what is the new one by Mona and them child? Um, it's not a love fest burning cherry. It's not a rouge smoking cherry. This is completely different, okay? Like this is so different. I would never think to put red wine in a fragrance. But the crazy thing is, it kind of gives you like a sweet port wine, like a dessert wine, but very fruity, very, listen, child, this ain't a review. Bloody Wood, woo. I mean. All right, so now the last one. Y'all, this one right here, it did remind me of something, but better, okay? And I don't, we gonna talk. So this one is Blanche or Blanche Betts. That's what this bottle looks like right here. This is a lactonic, creamy, vanilla, tuberose y'all let me tell you what this remind me of but better and when i say better like a thousand times better and i actually love that fragrance if you've ever and this is not on fragrantica and i'm so surprised nobody put the two together as soon as i smelled it i ran to fragrantica okay like literally ran to fragrantica and was like i know they're saying this is like this and i didn't see it like down the line like i went down the whole entire line and i didn't see it 
And I was like, what? What is the problem? Because as soon as I smell it, it gave me that vibe. But like I said, better. <laughs> Y'all, this put me in the mind of Killian's rolling in love, okay? If you've ever smelled that almond, lactonic, very milky rolling in love, but this is more sweet. This is more, when I first smelled rolling in love, right? It wasn't a love at first sniff. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. It wasn't a love at first sniff. But then I went back again and smelled it and was like, okay, this is a masterpiece. And I love it. Like I'm almost at half, if not at half of that fragrance. But it's definitely different from this. But it put me in the mind. Definitely milky, lactonic. Let me tell you the notes of this. This opens up with milk. There's ambrette, there's tuberose, there's incense, jasmine, vanilla, musk, cacao, and tonka. It's like a gourmand, milky, sweet milk treat. When I was younger, my mother used to give me hot milk. I couldn't drink cold milk. I drank it hot and I couldn't drink it just regular straight up milk. I needed honey in my milk and she would put honey in the milk. And that's what it put me in the mind of, a warm, sweet milk. Y'all, Jesus, this is everything. Like I said, I haven't been wearing them the entire month because they're newer to my collection, but I had to shine a little bit of light on them in this video because they've been a favorite. This house has been a favorite. I want more. I also have a couple that, well, not me, but Bay has a couple. Y'all, they're masculine, but they smell amazing on him. This whole house is like chef's kiss, okay? All right, so now let's get into the fragrances that I've actually been wearing since September. One of them is actually newer too. <laughs> so this is Tribeca by Bond number no. nine. Newer to my collection. I got this sometime in October, but it's still a favorite, okay? Because when I got it, I've been wearing it and I'm obsessed. I love it so much. It smells so good. I love the performance on this. I'm so glad that I was able to get this cap because I don't like what Bond is doing right now with these caps. I don't like the white plastic iridescent pearlesque looking cap i don't like that give us the clear cap but this opens up with cacao hazelnut jasmine cedar caramel and broxen and moss y'all this is everything this is so good let me tell y'all so bay and i went on a hayride right <laughs> yeah we're super cheesy well not we me Cause he would hear that and be like, what? I ain't wanna go on no damn hayride. You made me do it. But yeah, I made him go on a hayride because I just wanted to go on a hayride. It's October. I just like to be scared in the month of October. We went on a hayride. It was so corny, y'all. Like, first of all, it wasn't scary like the least bit, like at all. They're not scary. It's just like you drive through the farm at night on the, you know, the hayride thing and they jump out of the woods like the the actors jump out of the woods and the bushes and scare you while you're on the thing sitting on the hay so one guy came up behind us and was like Rawr! like <laughs> he wasn't even trying to scare us like really like bro are you tired because we paid our money i want to be scared like scare me but he was like Rawr! and then we were just looking at him like really and we just started laughing and he was like you smell good on everything i love y'all <laughs> like everything i love that was a highlight of my night. Me and Babe was cracking up. I was cracking up more because I was like, wow, like out here in the middle of the farm, in the woods in the farm, being scared or scared on a hayride in this ghost, instead of focusing on scaring us, he told me, you smell good. Like, bruh, I'm gonna need you to scare me a little bit. But he did give me a compliment on my fragrance and I just got a kick out of it. And I was wearing this. Y'all, this is everything. Tribeca by Bond. <laughs> All right, so the next Bond fragrance, let me get the notes for y'all because y'all be wanting them notes, child. And I should know these by heart by now, but New York Nights by Bond Number no. 9. Coffee, caramel, white florals. It changes on my skin. It lasts long. It's a beast. It projects. I can't get enough. I got this fragrance in 2020 and I will always have this. This in the fall is like, I crave fall for this fragrance. Obviously, I'm not wearing this in the spring nor summer. I don't want to smell this at all in the spring and the summer because it's so like decadent and so rich. It actually has like a little banana type scent to it too, but I love bananas in my fragrances. So I, I don't mind it, but I don't think it's a safe line by because everybody's not gonna like that banana type scent. 
but it's sweet it has coffee i love this so much my new york no not my new york new york nights by bar number nine next fragrance i've been loving is a designer fragrance and it's by bottega veneta and it's illusion y'all it's the fig and the tonka for me okay period this is a fig and tonka lovers dream it's so beautiful it lasts long i get compliments on this fragrance it's so pretty y'all it's like very classy and sophisticated but kind of not is it sexy it's not sexy but it's classy it's sophisticated and it's an attention getter so get his attention and then you talk to him sexy okay <laughs> It's so good. So it opens up with bergamot. There's black currant, orange blossom, green fig, olive wood, and tonka. It's like a nutty, almost like almondy type scent in the tonka. This is everything, y'all. Nobody talks about this, but this is amazing. Bottega Veneta Illusion. It's another one that you can wear all year round, um, but I mainly wear it in the um, fall. <laughs> So next fragrance that I could not get enough of is by Kayali and it's Vanilla 28. Y'all, I have a video coming up on fragrances that I layer with Kayali Vanilla 28. Please don't miss that video. Make sure your notification bells are on. You will not want to miss that video, y'all. You need this, okay? Go on ahead and get this. It smells amazing on its own. It smells amazing layered with your fragrances. I mean, it takes them to another level. It makes you get more compliments. You will snatch heads and snatch souls and run them over with a hayride truck. <laughs> y'all, I'm telling y'all, this is so good. You need this Vanilla 28. I've been loving it all September, October. I'm gonna need a new bottle, period. Another one of my favorites is by Mind Games, and this is Castling. I just love this freaking bottle, y'all. It's so gorgeous. But the scent inside, I mean, let me tell you. Let me tell you who had a baby and made this fragrance right here. Diptyque. Um, what is that one? Um, Diptyque has a fig fragrance. Is it? I'm going to leave the picture up. But Diptyque has a fig fragrance. And I tried it because I love fig. If you don't know, I love the note of fig in my fragrances. But that one was too green. Was it Eden something? No, it wasn't Eden. I'm not sure. But it was green. You smelled the fig, but it was a green part of the fig. And fig can be very sweet, but it can also have a green scent to it. But the one in Diptyque was too green. So this smells like Diptyque. That fragrance right there, I'm going to leave it somewhere on the screen. Had a baby with she had a baby with two people okay she was just a hoe <laughs> she had a baby with balade sauvage by christian dior that fig fragrance if you guys know what that fragrance smells like it's amazing love it and she also had a baby with um <laughs> uh killian's uh good girl gone bad so good girl gone bad balade sauvage by the dior Privé line and that diptyque fig fragrance that's what this reminds me of so incredible so amazing y'all it lasts forever on the skin like this is no joke mind games is not a joke like i'm honestly telling you guys these fragrances are pricey but i have to say they're worth the price i haven't paid for any of them but they're amazing if i had to i would and if i have to again after this is finished i will because it's so good so this opens up with fig leaves there's bergamot, iris, freesia, lotus flower, vanilla woods, skin musk, vetiver, and sandalwood. I did a poll on Instagram and I asked y'all one day if I should wear this castling by Mind Games or Initials High Frequency. These two fragrances, that's all I was asking about. People was like, Delina, wear Baccarat Rouge, wear uh, Marc Jacobs, like all everything else but the castling and the high frequency <laughs> but these two have been a favorite y'all so this one i'm gonna leave a link you're not gonna be able to save 20 percent on soabonguard.com with this because it's not discounted i don't know i didn't ask why it's over my pay grade but i just know that you're not able to use a discount code on this one right here but i feel like how i described it to you i don't know like what you guys feel about fig and tonka and those type of fragrances but that's a winner like you ain't gonna smell like nobody you gonna smell better than everybody that's everything also high frequency by initio now this one is more of a 
What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Y'all, it threw me off. It complete. That was real. Okay, it completely threw me off. Okay, Castling is dope. All right, like listen, that fragrance is really, really good. I love it. It's everything. Compliment getting all the things. But high frequency? Stop it. Y'all, if you love almond, you will love this. Oh my goodness. Do I have the notes for you guys? I don't have the notes for you guys, but it's woody. It smells slightly smoky, just, just a smidgen smoky, but it's the almond and the heliotrope. Y'all, this is so good. It also has vanilla. Y'all, this is amazing, okay? For fall, for winter, for sexy date night, this is sexy. Because I got some subbies that's always asking me, is it sexy, is it sexy? Yes, sis, this is sexy. It's giving all the type of sex vibes, okay? Like, it's rated R sexy. Whoo! Mm -mm. High frequency? Chow. Listen. All right. Another one of my favorites. What about pop? Y'all, it's the popcorn, it's the caramel, it's the salt, it's the charred, toasted type of scent in here for me. Oh, it's so unique. It's so different. It's it's not like, I would wear this on a date night, but when I smell this, I don't think like mm, super sexy, like I'm about to kill them. Now you about to kill them with high frequency. Okay, like this right here, it's sex, all right? Like I said, rated R. This is just super exotic, super unique. It's fun, it's comforting, it's playful, it's different. That's what this is right here. Beautiful, like I said, popcorn note. The popcorn is very prominent. So if you don't like a popcorn note, but you might not, see, here's the thing. I don't wanna say like if you don't like a popcorn note because you may not like a popcorn note in say Marc Jacobs Perfect Intense because of the other notes and how it was composed. But then you might smell a popcorn note in another fragrance and then love it. So that's what I stopped doing because I used to say, oh, I don't like a milk note. But then I smelled like fragrances with milk and I'm obsessed. Like, um, hello, Blanche Betts, uh, Killian Rolling in Love. I have other fragrances with milk. But it's just not all milk fragrances do it for me, but some do. I smelled a Bond Number no. 9 fragrance with a milk note in it. The bottle was gorgeous, but it had that milky electronic note. But for some reason, in that fragrance, it made me sick. Like, it made me feel like I was about to throw up. Like, honestly, y'all, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Mm -mm. The bottle is gorgeous, but the scent, like the milk in that fragrance, is probably spoiled. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but it just didn't work for me. But that's what I'm saying. Like, don't think, oh, this note doesn't work for me. Or if you're reading notes on Fragrantica and you see a note that you probably hated in a fragrance, don't rule out the next fragrance because it has that same note because it may give you a completely different experience and you don't want to miss out, okay? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. But what about Pop has had me in a chokehold in September and October. The last fragrance is by Goldfield and Banks, and this is Sunset Hour. Now this is more, I don't wanna say it's more of a summer fragrance, but it's one that I would, another one that smells so freaking good, oh my goodness. I wanna wear this in the dead of winter outside. Like when it's super cold and your girl got on a Canada Goose or a Montclair or a fur or something like that, like I'm not wearing this because she cute and all, but I don't think she gonna hold up in that East Coast cold. But it smells so fruity, so good. Let me tell you the notes. It opens up with mandarin orange, there's peach, raspberry, jasmine, ginger, pink pepper, sandalwood, cashmere wood, and benzoin. It gives you enough for like 50s, okay? Like early 50s, late 40s, you could do this fragrance. But when it starts trickling down to the early 40s and the 30s and 20s no this one right here no not outside she can stay in the house because she's a beautiful scent but she ain't going outside because she ain't gonna do nothing on your skin all right guys that was so much fun i love talking fragrance with you guys it's like y'all are sitting in my closet and we're just having a fun party just talking about fragrances so leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some of your favorites for the month of october whether it's fragrance beauty whatever it is random <laughs> Let's just talk about it below like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be
Be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.